Hi everyone, it's Gabby, welcome to my channel. Today it is going to be my first update for my Pandos eyeshadows. This project was of course created by Alexi. She brought it back this year, so you, you will find her down in the description box. And um, yeah, for this year I'm working on five shades at a time and I did hit panel one, so that is great. So we're going to be rolling in one new shade when you shade at the end of the video. But let's just go on and start with the update. As usual, I will start from the shade I used the least during the month, moving on to the shade I used the most. So first, and I think this comes as no surprise at all, I have my um, I have Revolution Mermaid's Heart uh, shade and this was a blue shade. <laughs> so of course I did not use it a lot. You will see how it was looking like last time But this is what it is looking like now. So I do have a bit of a dip going on This shade was not untouched, but it was not super used either. So um, the, the shade I had used the most in this part is def definitely this one. It's a very beautiful shade but yeah, this one I've used a total of eight times this month. And uh, yeah, I've mainly used it as a liner, but also all over the lid. I do have all the shades um, on today um, and I have it on the inner half of my lid. Uh, but I've also used this one all over the lid with a pink, hot pink from my Panda palette. And that makes it a little more grungy and a little teeny tiny bit more wearable. I tried that because last year I used up my blue shadows, topping with uh, topping them on a pink, um, and I and that made a purpley shade. But this one is a lot more pigmented than those, so that doesn't really work. It does change the color a little teeny tiny bit, but not it doesn't really change the main color of the eyeshadow so it just stays blue <laughs> so yeah i i don't know i will keep using this one and we will see how we go with this moving on i have my um what is this uh oh, oh, oh yes it is this one it is the sephora in the blink of an eye shade this was the third shade and you will see how that was looking like last time but this is where we stand now so this is a nice very nice color but it is very cool tone and this one was was brand new when i introduced it in the project so now you can see there is a teeny tiny bit going on bit no a dip teeny tiny bit no what <laughs> a teeny tiny deep deep that you you can see i've used it okay um I, I don't know why i get stuck with words sometimes but uh yeah i do have some disturbance on this but i've not used this a ton in fact i've used it 11 times and that is because the majority of the shades i'm working on are very warm toned and this is very cool tone and you can kind of see no you cannot really see it you can see my very poorly done liner but <laughs> um i don't know this is a very cool tone and in person you can see that it is very cool toned um so it really doesn't go so much with the rest of the things that i'm panning but you know we will make this work and hopefully we can hit pan sooner than later but this one honestly 11 uses for a shimmer shade I, I don't think this has as much progress as I would like it to have for a shimmer shade and alone uses, you know? So I think this one might be a 30 uses and roll out, but hopefully it will not. So we will see about that. And then moving on, I have my departed shade. So this is my, uh, this comes from a Puba palette and I don't really know the names for, for those. so it is what it is you probably have already seen what it was looking like last time it was basically brand new and this is what it is looking like right now so you can see that there is quite a dip in this and i've been using this one in my transition i mean it, it is not 
the most impactful shade, but it works for transition, so it is okay. I think I will have fun in this one next time because, you know, the dip is super, super giant <laughs> and the pens are not super deep. So, yeah, I hope I will be able to roll this out next month. And then, the, uh, and I've used this one 13 times. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes, but they're kind of far away. I cannot read. I could bring them closer to me, but uh, we're rolling with it. Uh, so next I have my Revolution Reloaded Iconic Division palette. And, okay. Uh, you can see here what shade I was working on. <laughs> so I was working on this shade right here and as you can see I hit pen just today with my poorly done um, eyeliner and actually I knew I was so close to this one and in fact I've used this one pretty much all over my eye. I have it in my, in my crease, I have it in my little lash line. I also have this one on my lid as a base for the other shades and because I had not hit pen on the uh, on it um, uh, with that usage I also thought well let's give it a try and make a winged eyeliner and that made me hit pen like with a second eye <laughs> not even with the first um, so yeah um, I am very happy I have Hit pen on this one. I mean, it would have been really disappointed if I hit pen on this one tomorrow. Like, what the? Uh, but yeah, I hit pen on this one today and I'm very happy. So this one will be rolling out. I mean, it is a very tiny pen, but I'm counting it. <laughs> and the last shade, I thought uh, this one I've used 23 times, which is a lot. Mainly in my crease, sometimes as a one. Uh, one shade I look like you know um, and also I think sometimes in my lower lash line kind of thing and then I have this shade that I thought I would hit pan on sooner <laughs> but I did not it is from the Zuiva Cocoa blend it is in the shade Bitter Start and this is what it is looking like right now I don't know if you can see that there is a giant dip in this one maybe there you go so there is a giant dip on this one and at the beginning of the month i saw someone on instagram that reported pen on this exact shade and i know that the pants are not super deep but i don't remember who that was i don't know but i know that the pants are not super deep so i believe i will have pen in this one next month but yeah, this is just a cream shade, so I'm using it all over the lid to set my eye primer. And I've used it, what is that? 28 times? Oh no, it was 23. I used this one 18 and this one 43 times. I messed up. But yeah, so that is my update for last month now it is time to roll in a new shade i already have my numbers set up i have one through 334 that are my penable eyeshadows and let's randomize i said let's randomize <laughs> so number 315 this is probably color pop i think this is either a sh super shock shadow or the why not palette I will go grab it and be right back. And in fact, this uh, shade comes from the Wine and Only palette from Colourpop and is the shade Mon Cherie. Mon, yeah, Mon Cherie, I think. And it is this shade right here. It is very beautiful. And it doesn't take on camera, but it does have a um, reddish undertone. It looks a lot more cool toned than it actually is in the camera. But uh, this is a super new palette to me and in fact I've not used it yet. So I'm very happy I got a shade from that one. And this is the color story I'm working away with. I don't know why I swatched it so, so badly. But this is the shade from Pupa. This is the Zoeva Bitter Sweet Bitter Bitter Start, sorry, from the Cocoa Blend palette. This is 
the Mermaid Hearts palette. This is the Sephora shade and this is the last shade I just rolled in. So yeah, I mean, not too bad. I think these two might be, you know, <laughs> stepping on each other's foot. And I'm also working on another shade that is pretty much the same color, so I should really redraw this. But I don't want to, so I'm not redrawing it. Um, yeah, I'm just working with it. I don't care. <laughs> so yeah, this is what we're working with. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe to the channel so that we can keep in touch. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!